off. Uh, we're gonna do five minutes with Eric, and what we are talking about is step two in my 10 step program of how to start your company, okay? So in step one, we figured out what we're selling, who we're selling to, and how much we charge for it. In step two, it's actually time to start doing business, and what we need to do is set up an entity. Now, what does that mean? So technically, you can go out there and you can start doing business in your own name, and you can just use your personal bank account. Now, that's what I consider a really bad idea. Legally, you are opening yourself up to unlimited personal liability. So if I'm out there selling legal services just under my name, people can sue me personally. Um, and so what we do is we create an entity. Now, most companies in the United States these days are LLCs, um, but the other most popular form is the corporation. Now, the corporation is a much older form. It's been around since the 19th century, whereas the LLC has only been around since about the 1970s. Um, and so the LLC, what it does is it takes the best of both worlds. It takes the ease and convenience of a partnership, which is just when two people start doing business together and they're going to be treated under partnership law and under partnership taxation. And it adds it with a lot of the benefits, such as limited liability of a corporation. So what is limited liability? Limited liability means that if I'm out there doing business in the name of my corporation and something goes wrong, the person or the business that I'm doing business with, they're going to sue my company, not me personally. And so as long as I'm doing certain things correctly, such as not commingling assets, not committing fraud, not signing personal guarantees, not being uh, stri uh, severely undercapitalized, um, basically, as long as I'm doing things the right way and also following the corporate formalities, which basically means keeping your, your company open and in good standing, there's a couple other things to corporate formalities. but. Basically, as long as I'm doing those things and I'm doing business in the name of my company, then if things go wrong, all that I've put at risk, the limited liability, the limit is my investment in the company. So here's a, a bad example. So let's say I buy shares in Coca-Cola. So I have now invested in Coca-Cola. And so now I am a part owner of Coca-Cola. If everything goes wrong and Coca-Cola somehow goes out of business, all that I've put at risk is that investment that I put in Coca-Cola. They're not gonna go after my house, my car, my boat, my retirement savings, my, you know, whatever it is. So my liability is limited. So that's the main reason. Now there's a couple other good reasons why we wanna set up a company. One of them is taxes, okay? So we can actually be in a much better tax situation if we set up an entity than if we were just doing business in our own name. Right? So if we're just doing business in our own name, we're just gonna file our IRS Form 1040, and then on there, we would show our, our expenses, our revenue, whatever the difference is, is gonna be our profit. Now the difference is when we set up a company, we have the option of uh, being treated as a C corporation, or you, you'll hear people talk about C corp, or as an S corporation. Um, or also you can do the default as an LLC and be treated but for tax purposes as a sole proprietorship or a partnership. Now, fun story, I once got into an argument with an accountant who was telling my client, well, if you're a single member LLC and you don't elect to be taxed as a C Corp or an S Corp, that you are a sole proprietorship and therefore you have unlimited personal liability. Now, what the accountant was getting wrong is they were confusing sole proprietorship for liability purposes with sole proprietorship for tax purposes. So what happened when the LLC was invented, the IRS didn't know what to do with it. So instead of inventing a whole new tax regime for the LLC, the IRS said, listen, we're just gonna use what we already have. So either your LLC is gonna be taxed like a sole proprietorship or taxed like a partnership, or if you elect, tax like an S corp or tax like a C corp. So you can see that there are four different ways that an LLC can be taxed. But the word sole proprietorship in this context is just for IRS purposes of taxation not for purposes of being sued. So if my client with her single member LLC is out there doing business the right way, signing contracts in the name of her LLC, then if something goes wrong, the lawsuit will be against her LLC and not against her personally. The accountant was wrong, and when the accountant walked out of the room, I told my client to fire that accountant and to get a new accountant who would stop giving legal advice. So please, accountants, don't give legal advice. I tend not to give tax advice. Um, in fact, I always say you need to talk to your accountant. Um, so going back to it, We've, we're setting up our business. Please don't do business in your personal name. Just set up an LLC. If you don't want to use a lawyer, go to LegalZoom, or you can figure it out how to do it yourself. The state of Florida just requires a credit card with $125. You cr create your Florida company. Remember, there are options. You can pick other states other than maybe the state where you live. And again, this is the second step in starting your business. Thanks, guys.